until we wake up and Kemi Badenoch doesn't exist anymore. I don't wish ill of her, I just wish her to shut up. No, I will not shut up. First, Kemi Badenoch threatened to take on Doctor Who. You need someone like me who's not afraid of Doctor Who or whoever. Then she said she became working class by working at a McDonald's. It was the first time that I interacted properly with people who didn't come from the sort of background that I came from. You know, I grew up in a middle class uh, family, but I became working class when I was 16 working in McDonald's. I mean, how many shifts in McDonald's do you have to do before you cease to be middle class and actually become working class? I know who I am. And um, I was working class at that time, but I fought my way back up. Now she's suggesting that anyone from a country that hates Israel doesn't deserve to come here. It's just about immigration. And what you talk about is not the numbers, but the nature of immigration and immigrants. You say, I am struck, for example, by the number of recent immigrants in the UK who hate Israel. Mm. That sentiment has no place here. Um, which immigrants are we talking about? Well... People who come from countries where Israel is seen as an enemy. So I never have gaffes or, you know, apologising for something that I said, oh, that's not what I meant. I, I never have to clarify because I think very carefully about what I say. I think very carefully about what I say. It's interesting, uh, you know, you make a virtue of your plain speaking and so on, but you evidently mean when you say uh, the number of recent immigrants who hate Israel, you mm. evidently mean Muslim immigrants. Why didn't you just say that? Because it's not all Muslim immigrants. And this is what I don't do. I'm very careful when I speak. I've met many Muslim people who love Israel. I met them in the Middle East. When I went to Saudi, when I went to the UAE, you know, you look at the Abraham Accords, there are many people in the Middle East who want to support Israel. I remember um, reading, uh, after this uh, assassination of the Hezbollah leader, loads of uh, people Arab, from Arab countries who were actually very pleased. That man caused chaos in Syria. So it is not all Muslims, but there are some, those who buy into Islamist ideology, political Islam, they do not like Israel. And we need to be able to distinguish between you, the two. You're... That's why I don't just um, use a word that brings so many people into the group. But she said from countries that hate Israel, then makes the distinction that not everyone from a country in the Middle East necessarily hates Israel. So under her leadership, will she suggest a test to find out which immigrants hate Israel and which ones don't? Considering the huge backlog of unprocessed immigrants, surely this will add more complications to the process. This straight-talking Tory is certainly confusing me. Click here for some feisty Badenoch.